this episode of the Quaff Cafe. I am your host, Calvin J. Williamson, and tonight I am coming to you with a new uh, styling cream that I have named Twisting Frappe. And the way this came about is because there is a very well known uh, hair styling company. Um, that has their own product on the market. And there is some concern about the ingredients that they use. And so I said I was going to take it upon myself to demystify their product and come up with a knockoff version of what they have. Now, if the cameraman can zoom over or pan over to our little uh, ingredients, and probably you don't even have to pan over because it ain't like we in a big studio. But anyway, happy ever, we claim that big studio in the name of Jesus. Amen, baby. Amen. <laughs> so these are the products that I'm going to use in that commercial product that I think it, when you put them together, it does uh, just as good a job as that 30 40 50 60 sometimes $60 product um, that's on the market. So I have four ingredients essentially that is in this mix. The first is hair grease. Whatever hair grease you have, bless your heart, break it out, and put it in your bowl. You're going to need probably about, I don't know, I guess that looks like about two to three, maybe four good heaping tablespoons of hair grease. Now, you notice I have two different kinds because I found an uh, old jar that I had and I said, heck, I might as well put it in here because I really like the results um, that I got with with this little ditty here. So you have about between two to four really good heaping tablespoons of hair grease. We are going to add, I would say about a good heaping tablespoon of whatever your favorite gel is. I'm using a commercial product. I know a lot of naturals like to use flaxseed gel. However, I do want to caution that if you use flaxseed gel that you probably will need to use some sort of preservative in this mix simply because um, the flaxseed gel is preservative free. If you, you know, when you buy your seeds from, from one of the organic stores um, and, it, and it can go bad. So uh, if you want to make large batches of this Twisting fat frappe. Use a commercial, uh, a commercial gel that's already in the little stores. And we're going to use some good old-fashioned, inexpensive conditioner. And I'm, I'm going to say probably about two to three, six tablespoons of conditioner. You can always add more to get it to the consistency that you like. And I'm breaking out some olive oil. Again, this is probably about two teaspoons of olive oil. And saints, can you believe it? No Crisco. <gasps> I know, like, I don't even know really how to act right now. I feel like I'm cheating on Crisco. Me and Crisco, 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 Crisco. We got a thing going on. Tell, um, who sings that song? Y'all know. Tell them I changed this stuff. I, I, I remixed it. Because that's what I do when I start mixing. When you come to the mixing station, you remix. Who felt that? I know I did. <laughs> Who felt that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 I almost fainted. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? And listen, I don't care nothing about no gloves on the mixing station when I'm behind the mixing station. All righty. And now we're just going to mix this. This might be a little difficult at first to mix because petroleum jelly or the uh, the hair grease can be, I mean, it's thick, Saints. 
It's very thick. And this is a very thick dehumectant. I don't need to use when it is humid. It won't puff up because this good old fashioned hair grease ain't letting your hair go nowhere. So we're going to put our mixers inside our ingredients before we turn it on and we're going to blend on low. And this may take a while because it, it is um, a little difficult to make sure that the hair grease is blended. So you may want to heat it just to soften it up a bit.